Mobile City Council, Wednesday, February 10th, please stand for our invocation led by Reverend Charlotte Green and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, we do bless and praise your holy name. We thank you once again for this, the privilege of another day to call upon you. As we've assembled here today, O oh God, we pray right now for these, our leaders. We ask, O oh God, that you will crown them with wisdom needed and necessary for us to unite as a body of one. As we come together, O oh God, endeavoring to be the city of Mobile, one Mobile, we pray right now in Jesus' name that you will give wisdom, guidance, and counsel, that which is necessary and needed for our city to be a light on the hill which cannot be hidden. Father, we pray right now that you will continuously bless, keep, and cover these, our leaders, as they sacrifice their time and their energies and their effort. I pray, God, that you will reward them openly and that, God, they will glorify you openly. In the name of Jesus, we do pray and ask it all. Amen. Roll call, President Gregory. Here. Vice President Richardson. Here. Councilmember Manzi. Here. Councilmember Small. Here. Councilmember Williams. Here. Councilmember Days. Here. Councilmember Rich. Here. Statement of rules. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I hope you all, uh, <laughs> it was a little slow, so some people may still be celebrating a little bit or getting over all of the celebrations. We welcome you all here this morning and uh, hope you all had a wonderful uh, Mardi Gras season, I know the council members certainly did. Um, thanks so much to all of our public safety workers, our public works employees for doing all they did to make it a safe and happy and very clean Mardi Gras. The, driving in this morning, it's always incredible to me to see how clean the streets already are from what our, our workers are doing. So a big thank you for everybody and all the work that you did. It was great to see the council and the mayor out uh, at all of the events and the parades. So again, another very successful and joyous Mardi Gras season, so thank you very much. Uh, the council rules are very simple. We just ask everyone to please turn off all of your electronic devices. If you come to the podium to speak, give us your name and address for the record. You will have five minutes to speak. At the end of four minutes, the buzzer will sound, which is your indication to begin wrapping up uh, your presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, please address them to me. I'm the chair, and then I will ask the appropriate council person or member of the administration to try to address those at that point. Thank you again for coming, and uh, we just look forward to uh, more <coughs> great days ahead, maybe not quite as much celebrating for at least a, a couple of weeks, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Approval of minutes of February 2nd. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Communications from the mayor. Well, TGMGIO, thank goodness Mardi Gras is over. Uh, you know, it was a great Mardi Gras. I'll ask Chief Barber in just a few moments to give us some of the statistics uh, that the city's been compiling over uh, the last 10 years and kind of a comparison. But, you know, uh, as President Gregory said, um, there's so much that we owe to our first responders, for those cleaning up to providing first aid to the protection that uh, we're all afforded. It's just kind of incomprehensible what all they do. But it's not just our city employees. I think we must recognize the, the Sheriff's Department for what they do, as well as the state troopers. I mean, it's uh, one of the remarks I made yesterday. It's all hands on deck, and we're mighty, mighty grateful for that. You know, even today, our crews will be picking up the 11,000 barricades mm -hmm. that uh, we put up during Mardi Gras, which is kind of incomprehensible that there are that many of them, and continuing to pick up the litter on the streets and sidewalks. I don't know if you had the opportunity to hear it, but when people were asking me about Mardi Gras yesterday, I told them, you know, in Mobile, we think of our Mardi Gras in this form, is that uh, if you're looking at TV or you're watching TV and you see your daughter at Mardi Gras, you're hoping that she's in Mobile, uh, rather than maybe uh, one of our sister cities down the way. But, Anyway, it is a, a family-friendly party uh, and lots of fun. And, you know, it's building upon the traditions that have been created by Mardi Gras that, um, that we hope to continue to become one of the 
America's top global destinations for people to visit our city. Uh, Admiral Lando shared with me, shared with the staff this morning that one of the chief, uh, most senior enlisted petty officer, or the chief petty officer on board the USS Farragut, told him of, of his entire service in the United States Navy, of all his shore leaves, that he's never <coughs> been to a place that's more friendly than Mobile. And that's amazing. And I kept hearing that from other uh, of the sailors that I saw. And it was a real honor to be able to have breakfast with the uh, captain of the ship and his chief executive officer to be on, on board and just see what they do uh, and hear about uh, some of the service that, services that they have provided. You know, it's an honor for us to be able to host a ship like that. Not every port gets to do that, but uh, we're very fortunate, again, to build upon the traditions that we've had in years past of the Navy putting a ship in here and certainly thank to Admiral Lando for helping, making sure that that again happened this year. While they were here, the sailors also helped us as a community continuing the painting project that we've had going on at Harmon uh, Recreational Center. And we're grateful for them taking time out of their shore leave uh, and their stay here to be able to help us do that. So thanks for, to them for, for being here and doing Mardi Gras. A lot of exciting things on the agenda today, not the least of which is the contract to authorize the engineering for the uh, first phase of the redesign of Water Street, which we kind of refer to as transforming Water Street from my backyard of downtown to being the gateway to our city and to, and to downtown. You know, we'll no longer, hopefully, once it's all completed, not just the design part of it, but once we implement the design that, you know, Water Street will no longer be that barricade that it is today to Cooper Riverside Park, the Convention Center, and Gulf Quest Maritime Museum. You know, our goal is to make sure that, that Water Street ends up being a safer, more walkable and bikeable corridor that invites all of our citizens to enjoy the waterfront. Also on today's agenda are several of the capital improvement projects. Uh, a couple of them are the, the Japanese gardens, uh, public rest, restroom facility that will be constructed there, and excuse me, you know, to the Japanese gardens, improvement to the botanical gardens and new restrooms at Herndon Park, drainage repairs at the Greenwich subdivision, as well as painting at Mims Park. Being able to do all these projects is the result of careful fiscal management and thoughtful planning that has been going on for the last two years. Also, I'd like to bring to everybody, everyone's attention uh, that uh, that we will start enjoying Black History Month. Everyone should take time to visit Unity Park, a tour of the Doris Franklin Finley African American Heritage Trail. We've made great progress in the last couple of years, but I will continue to work with the city council to create one mobile. And with your permission, Madam President, could Chief Barber give his report at this time? Sure. All right, Madam President and members of the City Council, we, we actually had a banner year as far as Mardi Gras attendance goes. <clears throat> um, I've got 10-year statistics, <clears throat> and we far exceeded that with 1.172 million people in attendance at Mardi Gras or visiting downtown for Mardi Gras season, the carnival season this year. Uh, the most amazing part of that is that we had very few incidents throughout the Mardi Gras season. So even in the 10 year period that I'm talking about with record numbers of people coming into the downtown area, we had a record number as far as incidents downtown uh, being so low uh, that we had the, few, the lowest arrest rate that we've had in 10 years in Mardi Gras. And even out of those, uh, most of them were for very minor alcohol related incidents, disorderly conduct and those. We did do a lot of toes uh, the unfortunate side of, of what we enjoyed during our Mardi Gras season is as we were pulling the double OEMs in and ending the carnival season, we did have a report of shots fired at Conti and Scott Street in which officers responded to that were in that area. Uh, and we did find a 15-year-old victim who was later identified as Amir Parker, uh, suffering from multiple gunshot wounds or at least gunshot wounds. Uh, he was transported by Mobile Fire Rescue to the hospital where he was later pronounced dead. And so that was the blemish for our carnival season that we had to endure um, as police officers. But I do want to join in with the mayor and thank Mobile Police um, for all of the vigilance that they did. The, the presence of law enforcement downtown, I think, was certainly real. 
uh, you could certainly feel it. Um, also, the assisting agencies from throughout our region, Mobile County Sheriff's Department, the Alabama State Troopers, and the uh, 45 different mounted officers that came in to assist with crowd control. And I do want to join in with um, kudos to Public Works because I can assure you downtown Mobile looks a lot different driving in this morning than it did when I drove out last night. And so they do an amazing job and they certainly should be recognized for it. Uh, but I'll answer any questions that I can at this point about the Mardi Gras season, but those are the stats. There, it was a record year. Uh, it was also a record year as far as minor incidents go. Thank you very much, Chief. Appreciate it. And, and truly, thanks to all of our public safety officers for, for what they did. You all have a, a very tough job. And um, if some of the officers who were manning those barricades don't have good sense of humor around parade time, well, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> but, but thank them all for, for their service. We really appreciate it. And, and also Public Works, as you mentioned, the whole team. Great, great work. Thank you so much. Um, any questions of the Chief? Madam President. Mr. Small? Uh, Chief, um, for a clarification, some of the media had reported that the two shootings, uh, two homicides that happened last evening had to do with Mardi Gras. Is that true or that's not true? Let me say that one of them is at the Family Dollar, uh, involved a homicide of a 40-year-old employee of the Family Dollar at 1300 block of St. Stephen's Road. That was completely unrelated to Mardi Gras. Uh, the shooting that happened at Conti and Scott was at the end of Mardi Gras. In other words, it was from the Mardi Gras crowd, we're assuming that were dispersing from the areas we were bringing the floats in over on St. Anthony Street. And so it was not during the parade, I guess is one th way to say it, uh, but it was still some residual crowds that were dispersing from the area. Thank you for the clarification. Yes, sir. Thank you, anyone else? Yeah, just Mrs. Quick, Rich. for um, my knowledge, when you talk about the Mardi Gras season, are you talking about when the first parade rolls downtown or do you take into events at the Civic Center that are Mardi Gras related shortly after the first of the year? We for take numbers. in our carnival season, when I'll give you these types of stats, is when that first parade, okay. the first float starts, we start the start time until we pull the last float in and we, we end it. Thank you. Uh, yes. Mr. Richardson? Yes, um, Chief, I would like to join uh, Gina in uh, complimenting you and your department for doing an, an outstanding job. I have a request uh, of you and the mayor. Um, we would like to be notified. If it's a murder in our city, we'd like to be notified immediately. I had the news media coming to me with a microphone to my face asking me about something I knew nothing about. I, I want to know. I don't, I don't necessarily want to be put on a list with the other news media. I want to be put on the list with the mayor. I want to be put on the council's list to be notified if it's a murder. If I say, I don't know what's happening, what do you think the people that, that uh, voted me in office are going to think? Why we need him down there if he doesn't know what's going on? I want to know, and we are asking you, we're, we're, I've done this before and I ask, I'm asking again, if there is a murder in our city, we want to know immediately. So we will be better equipped. The, the media coming to us, want to know what's happening, what y'all think about this and the other. I don't want to say I don't know. I don't want to have to say that. I want to say I understand what happened Police, but they're working hard as they can to resolve. I, but I, I can't say I don't know. I don't want to say I don't know what's happening. I should not be saying I don't know what's happening. That's all I'm saying. All right. Thank you. Anyone else, uh, Mayor? Just for clarification, how many people do you think uh, were there the entire Mardi Gras season? million three, million two, what's the total number? The visits coming in, it was pretty close to 1.2 million. It was 1,172,000 people that visited downtown Mobile. Okay. 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 Madam President has, a, with, thank you. Thanks. All right, thank you. Thank Thanks you. Madam much. President has a proclamation she's going to read. A proclamation and I've asked uh, school board member Robert Battles if he would join me. Yeah, I'll call me in the room, I'm <laughs> 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 
That's okay. I think All right. I can handle this. Ms. Madam President. Thank you. Whereas February of 2016 has been designated Career and Technical Education Month by the Association for Career and Technical Education, <clears throat> excuse me, and whereas profound economic and technological changes in our society are rapidly reflected in the structure and nature, wor uh, nature of the work, thereby placing new and additional responsibilities on our educational system, and whereas career and technical education provides Americans with school to careers connection, and is the backbone of a strong, well-educated workforce which fosters productivity in business and industry and contributes to America's leadership in the international and marketplace. And whereas, career and technical education gives high school students experience in practical, meaningful applications of skills such as reading, writing, and mathematics, thus improving the quality of their education, motivating potential dropouts, and giving all students leadership opportunities in their fields and in their communities. And whereas, the ever-increasing cooperative efforts of career and technical educators, business and industry stimulate the growth and vitality of our economy and that of the entire nation by preparing graduates for career, field, career fields forecast to experience the largest and fastest growth in the next decade. Now, therefore, we, members of the Mobile City Council, do hereby proclaim February 2016 as Career and Technical Education Month. And I want to present this to our school board and uh, Mr. Battles will take this back to everyone and congratulate them and we thank you very much for all that you do and we know that uh, career and technical education is very, very important to everyone here in our community so thank you very much. Thank you, Madam President. All right, thank you for being here and for being put on the spot this morning actually. Well, you know, I could, I'm always used to that. But uh, I'd just like to respond uh, is that uh, career education and technical education is just so important and just to be more specific in Councilman Richardson's district on last week, we dedicated a community clinic at John L. LaFleur High School that was in conjunction with the University of South Alabama, a medical school, and uh, it will be open to the public. What we had to do, since the public cannot just come onto the school campus, I got with Councilman Richardson and Mr. Young LeBroom, and they agreed with the school board that we would use Figures Park during the daytime so that that could be community residents who have high blood pressure or need sugar tests or anything that could really be an outstanding job. And I just want to accept this on behalf of the Board of School Commissioners with our president, Mr. Dinah Stringfellow, and with Superintendent Martha Peake, and thank you very much. And to Councilman Manzer, who was my predecessor, the things that I've enjoyed today is because of what he did. So thank you. Adoption of the agenda. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Appeals. We have requests for a waiver of the noise ordinance on June the 4th on Ful South Fulton Street, March 12th on Dolphin Street, 564 Dolphin Street, and February 13th and 14th on Volta Drive, 4275 Volta Drive. So moved. Any discussion on these? All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed? Presentation of petitions and other communications to the council. We have no one signed for agenda or non-agenda items. Mm -hmm. Resolutions held over 40013 declare, declare the structure at 1900 Clinton Street, a public nuisance and order it repaired or demolished. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 01094 authorized agreement with the Japanese Garden Foundation <coughs> for the design and construction of a public restroom facility at the Japanese Gardens. So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? I just want to say that um, the Japanese Gardens, if you have not been there, is, is a true jewel. Um, it's located at the corner of Ziegler and Forest Hill Drive. It's kind of behind uh, a little white house that's out in front, so you have to kind of look for it. But uh, Mr. Charles Woods has been working on the Japanese gardens for years. And he's done a tremendous job over there. Uh, the gardens are in great shape. He has been trying to get a restroom facility for a very long time in order to help facilitate so that people who do come to visit the gardens will 
have a restroom. So it's been very important to him and we're very happy that we can help uh, make these improvements at the Japanese gardens. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. 01095 authorized agreement with the South Alabama Botanical and Horticultural Society to improve the entrance and surrounding areas of the Mobile Botanical Gardens. So so, moved. Second. Discussion? Again, talk about a jewel, the Botanical Gardens. And Andrew is here. Thank you. Um, I am just very happy that we're able to do this. Um, the, the members and the volunteers at the Botanical Gardens do a fabulous job. They have a wonderful facility. They've been needing some help with um, the entrance way there, and I had uh, agreed to help. I told Andrew if I ever had any money, I'd be more than happy to try to do it. Thank goodness we do have this, this money available, Andrew, so I look forward to seeing the new improved entrance at Botanical Gardens. Thank you both for what you do. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. 21096 authorized contract with Robert Baggett for City of Mobile, Alabama Cruise Terminal Emergency Parking Deck repairs. So, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 47097 assent to the vacation of unopened alleyways and right of way of McLean Avenue. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Ordinance is being introduced for the first time, 88006. By Council Rules, this ordinance was level for one week. All right. Consent resolutions being introduced, 03099 through 37103. So moved. Second. Move for the suspension. No. Move. Oh, consent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, move for the. Oh, yeah, oh yes, 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 yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Motion for the uh, suspension, suspension of the rules for immediate consideration of ordinance uh, 03. Res resolution. Uh, resolution 03099 through 37103. All right, second. second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. The 03099 appoint Devin Ford to the Keep Mobile Beautiful Board. So moved. Check. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 31 100 authorized the mayor to accept and a decagram for park improvements and issue payment to the Mobile Airport Authority Foundation for work at Doyle Park. No matching funds. So moved. Second. Discussion? Uh, yes, Madam President. Mr. Small? Uh, many of the residents was, have concerns and questions about when Doyle Park is going to reopen and the uh, friends of Doyle Park will be making that announcement very soon in the future. I just wanted to be residents to know. Thank you. Yeah, it's very exciting over there to see that park coming back to life. Yes, it especially is. Especially with all the improvements that are being made. Um, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 31101 grant close out of the neighborhood stabilization program grant and activities funded from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development through the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs. So moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 37102, authorized the mayor to accept <clears throat> fiscal year 2015 Homeland Security Grant for an urban search and rescue team, no matching city funds. So move. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? 37103, recommend approval to the ABC Board for issuance of a retail beer, table wine, off-premises only license for Cottage Hill Chevron on Cottage Hill Road. So move. Second. Discussion? Yes, I'd just like to inform the community that this is an ownership change. It's, um, it's a convenience store, gas station that's already up and running. All right, thank you. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Resolutions being introduced for the first time, 01104 through 21114. By council rules, resolution 01104 through 21114 will be held over for one week announcements. All right, let's start uh, with Mr. Williams. I just want to uh, be the first here to congratulate our, uh, our police department, Public Works, on another successful Mardi Gras. Uh, really, what a, what a great Mardi Gras as, as we rode around and uh, were able to enjoy it from a different perspective. We saw our population, our, our citizenry, as well as all the visitors behaving maybe better than they ever have. Uh, and that just goes to uh, 
prove that Mobile is the place for the family Mardi Gras. And we um, are, I need to back up. We, we must recognize that this is not just the time for us all to have fun and to party. Uh, it is also, uh, it's a tradition that is an industry all of its own. And so those that, uh, that believe we can do without it really need to study the books a little to know what it means to our economy. Uh, so uh, all of those who made it a successful one, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Small. Uh, thank you, Madam President. On this evening, I will be meeting with some coaches and some parents uh, of Matrix Park, um, talking about the future of uh, Matrix Park. Uh, we will be having that meeting on this evening at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Bosley, Bosley Party Rentals at 2345 Hallsmere Road. Um, Mr. Matthew Capps uh, over the Parks Department will be present to answer some of the questions that the parents and the coaches have about the future of Matrix Park. Again, that would be this evening um, at 2345 Halls Mill Road at Bosley Party Rentals. On February 27, 2016, uh, PICO-3 conjunction with the Fulton Heights will have a cleanup in the neighborhood. We're asking all the residents of Fulton Heights to please be present at 8 o'clock a.m. but we can get our community spiced and beautiful because spring is coming up very soon. On March the 15th, 2016, uh, we will have our district-wide meeting at the Maryville Elementary School at 6 o'clock p.m. I have invited Mayor Stimson to come and speak to the residents. And if any residents have anything, they, any topic they would like to discuss, please contact me at 208-7441, again at 208-7441, or email me at cj.small at cityofmobile.org. Again, that meeting will be on Tuesday, March the 15th, 2016, at the Maryville Elementary School. Also, on Saturday, March the 26th, 2016, we will have our Easter egg hunt at the Maryville Elementary School. Um, the city of Mobile, my office, uh, the conjunction with Cumulus Broadcasting, will be bringing this Easter egg hunt to the community. We're asking all volunteers or anyone who would like to volunteer or you be a sponsor of this event, please contact my office again at 208-7441, 208-7441, or email me at cj.small at cityofmobile.org. Again, this will be held on Saturday, March the 26th, 2016 at 3 o'clock p.m. at the Maryville Elementary School. And just remember that District 3 is the place where things are happening. Thank you, Madam President. All right, thank you. Mrs. Rich? Thank you very much. I, too, would like to add to the sentiments of uh, a great big thank you to our um, public safety officers, <coughs> both in policing and in uh, fire rescue, for their um, dedication and service to our community. Public works, um, who make sure we're clean and really add to the environment when it when it does get cleaned up and it's greatly appreciated. Also to the city clerk's office who comes out and helps. Um, I believe there was probably some feeding going on there for the police officers that are working around the clock and fire rescue people. And also to the revenue department. It's really a collaborative effort to be the birthplace and to continue that tradition. It is a big part of our fiber and I know there are many people that enjoy it. It is unfortunate um, that we had to end on a sour note with the loss of a 15 year old that's devastating. And I hope that they get to um, find out who was responsible and um, that it's something that our community will not tolerate. So again, thank you and much appreciated for everybody who did participate. Um, it's, it's a great event for our city. All right, thank you, Mr. Richardson. Yes, uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, my big announcement is going to be that uh, on February the 8th, Thursday, February the 18th, I'll be holding my Beat 30 and 31 Crying Community Meeting. Uh, that meeting will be held at Mercy Life, 2900 Spring Avenue. It will start at 6 o'clock. I'm asking all of the citizens in, in the Crying Community to please join us at Mercy uh, Life. Um, one, a few things we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about the creation of a 
501c3 nonprofit organization, one that would uh, help plan for the progress and the development of both Crichton and Tobinville. We're going to get a report on that. We're going to talk about the capital improvement projects that's coming your way and some that's already underway. We're going to let you know what that is. We're going to have people coming talking about jobs and job training, how you can get the skills you need to get the job you want. We're going to have citizens there to talk about that. We're going to have uh, someone from the police department to come to talk about public to give us a public safety report for beats 30 and 31, the Crichton beats. And I can say up front that precinct three is one of the safest precincts in the city of Mobile. We are doing good. We can do better. We plan to do better. All of us can do better. And we will, we will do better. And we also gonna take the time to listen to any citizens of the Crichton community who, uh, who, go, who are going to be in attendance at this meeting. We're going to take the time to hear from you. This is your meeting. We want you to come. We want you to listen and hear, but we also want you to state to us your concerns so we can see if there, there is anything we may be able to do. Um, just, just to say something, uh, because this is Black History Month, I would just, would just like to make this statement, that the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did not start a movement to fight just for us. He fought for justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Daves. Thank you, Madam President. I would like to join my colleagues in commending our, uh, our police department personnel, our fire rescue department personnel, and our public works personnel for the outstanding job they did uh, over the two weeks of parades. It, it really is remarkable when you think that we had uh, 1.2 million people down here watching parades and, and the number of incidences were so small. And uh, as I've said earlier uh, from this podium, we set the standard in terms of cleaning up after an event like this. Everybody else in the world wants to know how we do it. Uh, we've perfected it. That doesn't make the job any uh, less hard or difficult, uh, but everybody does a great job and ought to be commended. And, and I uh, end my commendations by including the uh, citizens of Mobile uh, that we had 1.2 million people come downtown and watch those parades with, again, a very, very low instance of arrests and so forth. It's really remarkable and a, a testament to the citizens uh, efforts to make sure that everyone has a safe and enjoyable Mardi Gras. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. Manzi? Yes, Madam President, I want to continue uh, the accolades and the accommodations offered to our public works and all city uh, staffers related to uh, their successful Mardi Gras. Uh, from our police, our fire, our city clerk's office revenue, I'm thankful that we had a great number of tourists to come into the city. And I agree with Councilman Davis. I think it's also in order to salute the citizens, uh, not just of Mobile, but specifically of District 2, uh, because that 1.2 million individuals came in the boundaries of District 2. And when you consider that many persons, their normal routes to travel are encumbered as we have Mardi Gras, especially in Church Street East, down the bay, campground and other communities. Uh, it's really an effort and a sacrifice on behalf of those citizens that this great celebration takes place. So I salute the citizens who've been very patient uh, over the last few weeks and always show that patience uh, and appreciation during the Mardi Gras season. I got several emails relative to trash men in certain areas uh, it was quickly handled. I, I, I just cannot say enough just how impressed I am with the way uh, this Mardi Gras season uh, unfolded. I'm also equally disappointed that at the very end we had uh, this tragedy to occur, and I just want uh, the family of that young man to know that my thoughts and prayers are with them. 
uh, and I hope that citizens don't allow that isolated incident to uh, deter them from wanting to be associated with, with a great Mardi Gras celebration. All right, thank you. And uh, Mr. Richardson has one more. Yes, Madam President, I forgot to mention that this Saturday, starting at 11 o'clock, uh, that will be the Trinity Gardens Heritage Parade. And I just want uh, uh, the Councilman of District 2, Councilman Manza, to know that we will probably have somewhere around 50,000 people on the street in the Trinity Gardens. I'll challenge you to find any one community in the southern region that would bring out 50,000 people in one community. Now we had uh, 1.2 million in the city of Mobile, talking about one community. I have five communities in District 1 that I represent, but one community alone would have nearly 50,000 people out there. And by the way, last year we had 45,000 we had no arrest, no tickets, no cards told, nothing but peace, happiness, and joy, and that's what we expect this year. All righty, well, thank right. you. And just to close things up, uh, you heard the mayor mention uh, the USS Farragut was in town, and I had the opportunity to welcome them to Mobile and to Mardi Gras last week, and so it's always great to see those sailors on our streets and on the floats and at the balls. They do such a wonderful service, of course, for our country, and so we're always happy to be able to bring them in to give them a little bit of entertainment during Mardi Gras, and uh, it's good to see them. Any other discussion or announcements from anyone? All right, with that then, we are adjourned. Thank you.